Wow, you clicked on this video. Thank you so much for clicking this video. I appreciate you. My name is Femi Adebile. They call me Fenjus Baba. I am a filmmaker, a content creator. I'm an actor too. This is my YouTube channel. Please do well to subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell to get notified when we drop our goodies and our movies on this channel. I celebrate you. Oh. <laughs>
I had a dream. A very terrible dream. So this is all you are? You are not even more than this? Mr. Spirit Coco? See, you've just seen what I am in real life. Yes. And remember, you married me for better for worse. So, Brogbile, what do you think we should do about this, your dream? Uh, sir, this dream can't be taken lightly, sir. It can't be taken, taken lightly. So, what do you intend doing now? Uh, as it is, sir, ma, I'm just uh, looking at it that uh, maybe we should uh, Suspend every wedding plan. You lie, brother Billy. You lie. We should suspend which wedding? Ah, a wedding that will take place in two weeks' time. Ah, 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 ah. I understand you. Because you have seen a beautiful sister in the church, Abby. Now you are spiritualizing everything so that you can attract it to yourself. Ah, daddy, it's, it's not like that. It's, it's not like that. It's not like what? It is not like what, brother Billy. I said it's not like what. Eh? You have started this courtship for a while. Why is it that it is now that the wedding is just remaining two weeks? Ah, uh -uh. two weeks. You are now. You turn yourself to Joseph. Dreamy. Eh, brother Billy, leave me. Ah, brother Billy, brother Billy, why don't you have the fear of God? Why, brother Billy? You know what? What Daddy is trying to say is that. Satan is always on his toes to destroy our good plans. Tell him. So, this might just be one of his devices, you know, to turn your supposedly day of joy to a day of sorrow. Our responsibility at this point is to pray and make for it every plan of the evil ones. Thank you. Then, we continue with the preparation for the wedding. Abby. Mommy, Daddy. It's, it's not like that too. This EU is uh, critical. Uh, it's, it can't be taken lightly. Because I know what I saw before going to the presence of the Lord in fasting and prayers. Brother Billy, don't tell me that you didn't see anything. Uh uh. You didn't see anything. In fact, meet me at the entire source in the, in the church tomorrow. Let's pray and, and cast out all these demons that are responsible for all this nonsense. Uh uh. Daddy, Brother Billy, good day. Good day. Ah. But, my dear, I don't understand you anymore. Why are you playing the role of a matchmaker in this people's affair? Why must you join them together by force? Why? Why? Can you just hear yourself? I am not playing the role of a matchmaker. Neither am I forcing Brogbile to marry Sister Muyo. The point I'm trying to make is this. Why must Brother Gbile wait for this long? Before saying he will not go ahead with the wedding again. A wedding that will take place in two weeks time? Ah, no, 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 no. This is unacceptable. I cannot accept this. Giving our church a bad reputation before the people? No. I won't accept that. So, what are you planning to do now? What am I planning to do? I say I will not accept. This wedding must take place. Nobody can put me to shame. No, Brother Gwile. But I don't see anything.
Then on on give verb list action. Many. After all, they've not been joined in holy matrimony. Even if this brother discovers he cannot marry this sister a day to the wedding, he has every right to take that step as long as he has not taken his marital vow before God and man to take her for better or for worse. My dear, we are supposed to be speaking with the same voice on this matter. Same voice indeed. We can never agree on this matter because I am a down to earth person. We need to call this brother. We need to interview him and give him fair hearing. And we will move forward when we hear him out. But my dear, you have not given this brother a benefit of the doubt. Remember, a broken courtship is far better than a broken marriage. Not a wedding that will take place in two weeks' time. What fashions of Bible says that? Marital engagement can still even break up on the wedding day. All it takes is for either the bride or the groom to fish out a stumbling block and the whole wedding vanishes like favor. My dear, it looks to me as if Sister Moyo has offended you and you have not forgiven her and you want to seize this occasion to deprive her of her joy, right? Um, you know what? I don't have any issues with Sister Moyo. My dear, you know, we are all privy to the genesis of their relationship. You know, you know. What are you talking about? Eh? What are you talking about? My dear, no serious minded person should take any dream seriously. Wow. Dreams can be very, very real. If the dreamers reveals to do something on it, then it becomes a fool. didn't give me any breathing space. No chance for explanation. He insisted that the wedding must hold. He told me to join him and the prayer warriors in church. I don't have pastor to blame at all. Why is it that in two weeks to your wedding, that is when you now started seeing vision? In fact, the action is highly disgraceful. Uh -uh. I think that uh, if the whole world refused to trust me, I believe my friends are supposed to have a little confidence in me. You know, when I went to the presence of the Lord to pray, and then I received from Him, and that was what informed my latest decision, I, I just need you to trust me. Eh, hey, see, Brabuli, we are three here. Let us be sincere with ourselves. Is it not that you have found someone more beautiful than Sister Moyo? Is that not the reason for this action? Eh, see. We all know. After all, we all know that Sister Moyo is a little bit older than you. Ah, ah. Bobiola, you talk too much. Um, I see. I see. It's like I can now see that you have no confidence in me at all. You don't believe anything I've said.
Bile. Welcome. Come inside. What is it now? Ah, it's been a while I saw you now. <laughs> oh, you're still angry with me. I'm sorry now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know what got into me. It's the handwork of the devil. Please forgive me. Please. Is that why you've been avoiding my calls? You refuse to pick your calls, right? And you've been avoiding me totally. Okay, I'm sorry. Alright? I'm very sorry. Um, what would you like to have? Coffee, tea. I know you like coffee because that is what you enjoy drinking. I'll be right back. Sister Moyo. Yes, Liz. Please, uh, I would not want you to bother. Because um, I will not take anything. But, but why? Sister Mojo, I want you to forget everything about uh, the wedding that is to take place between us. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> You're very funny. <laughs> Sister Mojo, I'm not joking. <laughs> we are joking. Ah, when the wedding is just in two weeks. You must be joking. <laughs> you must be joking. Sister Muyo, even if the wedding is one hour away, as far as we haven't been joined together in holy matrimony, I think I still have the right to opt out. Uh, what are you saying? Opt out where? You cannot opt out. Where do you want me to go? When my family are coming in from America next week, huh? you can't even try. Uh, uh, uh. Sister Muyo, you want to strangle me? No. Please don't do it. Huh? The spirit of the Lord Jehovah is upon me. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. I beg you now. Do you want to put me to shame? Please, I'm sorry. Sister Mojo, it's not as if you aren't pretty. You are. You are caring as well. But this whole issue still looks cloudy to me. I would have loved it. And Sister Moya, I would have loved it if you can just tell me your real identity. I don't understand what you're saying. Please forgive me and I've begged you. I said I'm sorry. Please don't put me to shame now, please. Charm is deceitful. Beauty is vain. But a woman that fears the Lord shall be praised. Sister Mujo, please, who are you? Oh, please, no. Please don't do this to me now. Please, Lovely, please. Hey. What do I do? Where do I go? Ha! interested in the relationship. Mommy, I tried begging him. But he refused to listen to me. Mommy, help me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just stand up. Sit down, my sister. Mommy, help me. Oh, my God. It's two weeks to the wedding and Brock Bile is saying something else. Please. Mommy. You know how long I waited. You prayed with me. I know. I know, my sister. I waited for so long before Brogmile showed up. Huh? Mommy, what do I do? Just don't worry. God is the all true. Ah, 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 mommy. Bro, 
Ogile was here yesterday. Eh? Yes. He explained to us too. But Daddy has heard that in to a meeting with the prayer warriors in the church today. For me. Help me. I don't want to be put to shame. Please. Yes, you won't be put to shame in Jesus' name. But if I may ask, I hope nothing went wrong between the two of you recently. Nothing, nothing, nothing went wrong. Really? Yeah, no, no, no. Like a disagreement or rift? Something went wrong. Something went wrong. I knew it. So what happened? We agreed not to discuss it with the third party. <laughs> not at this point. At this juncture, my sister. You must be ready to open up to us. For us to know how to handle this matter before he gets out of her. Oh. Hey. Say something, my sister. One day. Okay. I went to Brother Billy's house. While waiting for him in the living room, I stumbled upon a picture. A girl's picture, for that matter. On turning the back of the picture, I saw my love. Really? Okay, brother Agbile, who is in this picture? What is the meaning of the my love that you wrote at the back of it? Instead of him giving me good explanation, he just turned everything into something else. Oh, amazing. I am listening. What later happened? <laughs> my mistake is that I slapped him. Oh, no wonder. I didn't do it deliberately. He said he has forgiven me. Only for him to come up with the idea of telling me the relationship is over two weeks to the wedding. Mommy, please. <sighs> now I understand. Mommy, please. Mommy, please. Please help me beg him, please. Now I know what is really going on. Don't worry. They'll be demanding that they should. Just Mommy, help me. My sister, it is well. Have your sake. Mommy, I don't want to be put to shame. Please. No shame for you in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. In nothing shall you be put to shame. Ah, 
Tuma, o to do meta canta de bom e bem, se cusi. Eh, você é se vai nada. Boba tin lo, ole man ba ni keru di lo. Tori pa ba wole wo, isu ti kun ole, gogo kan ti kun ole. Awon ti won o fun aleran gbegan, adi won o ni suru di eni. Wo, awon eyan yawo re, o didi ojo meta mu egiyan. Won o mo pe omo ba le agbela, won ba doro po. Wo, sa si mo wo. Aso to gbe ran se hun. Ngbe nle ti lo. Mo ni leyo oja ni lo le gba. Suba le to de. Loni loni gan ni lo gba so asa ku mura eh baba mi lori oro igbe awo yan na ni mo wa ri yin fun se ko si se ko si ti yawo re nko ko si ko si ko si la buru mo ni kin wa fi to yin liti ni pe igbe awo yan o ni wa yi mo ai ki lo de ki lo sele lona wo tori kini Olorun o ko mi je papo. Olorun o ko yin po. Ni igbe yawo to ku ose meji. Ni lo so po Olorun o ko yin po. Lati gba te tu wa jo nrin. Te tin te le ra yin ka. O ki lo Olorun wo lati gba na. Eh, mo se se mo po mo lasan ni onu. Ah. Ona re o. So sati so fe ni. Baba mi moti so moti so fun gan papa eh wa gba mi oran ma ti de bayi baba mi se mo ti e ti gbe nu e da un gbe nu e so un agbari gijabi jabi o ki apon omo ni wo omo yi eh ise pala bi ajala mi o si rata ma ayo o fe doju ti mi eh o fe doju ti mi iwo mo yi lojo kini ana to wa mo lo gba were mercy o lo gba were mercy oni jesus kan lo gba eh se o ti wa fi mi sex bayi o ti wa doju ti mi bayi eh iwo mo yi eh alai ni se joku to fe se roko la lupon iwo mo yi Egba mi o Mo ka baba ojo ti won ta so fun mi po won loyin o re Baba agbile eni suru eh e ja fi suru yan ju oro yi oro te n so yi tin po oju o suru o o be mi lebe ya eh o be mi lebe ya oju o sele si niyan ri la le so ko ju desi ni o ti desi mi bayi o Egba mi o O ti desi mi o Odun marun seyin Lo gbo omobirin kan wa le O le fe fe ra yin Igbe yi awo ati se to re O ku osu meji Lo du wa le Lo lo omobirin o so pe o se mo Eleyi lo tu ku ose meji O tun ni Olorun e kan so pe Ko ma fe ah <laughs>
Whose photograph is that? You heard me. I say, whose photograph is that? I don't know, sir. But, Brock Billy, please, uh, say the truth. I've already explained everything to the pastor. I confessed everything that happened. Just tell him the truth and let the devil be ashamed. Confessed what? Confessed that you are covetous. Ah! Bro, Bile. Brother Bile. Ah, I'm disappointed at you. In fact, I am ashamed of you. You that everybody in the church knows as a spiritual giant. Why is it that this time that you want to pick a wife to marry, that you are giving up your faith? You are backsliding, Brock Bile. Ah! Sir, so, so I think I need to explain something here. I, I can't recognize... Please, Brock Bile now. Please, I'm sorry. Please. Please forgive me. I've explained everything to the pastor. I even told him how I slapped you. You? You slapped me? You slapped my face! Brogley, we know that's extreme. You should be angry at that. But at the same time, you must also be forgiven. After all, she has been begging you. Please, forgive her. Please, forgive her. Please, please. Sorry. Brogbile! 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 Come back here! Look at this brother! Brother Gbile! Brother Gbile! Brogbile! Brother Samson! Did you meet your friend as you were coming in? Which of our friends, sir? Ah, Brogbile now! He just left here. No, sir. Oh, okay. Now, you go to his house. Go and look for him there. And if you get there and he's not there, please look for him anywhere you can find him. And bring him here now. Oh, yeah, go, 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 go. Right, okay, sir. sir.
Ali, you are not okay. There's nothing wrong with me. Are you not okay, bro? Let me talk. Eh? Bro, let me talk. Listen to me. Everything the Lord has said. Tie this I thing now. That's how we do. Bro, you look at my face. You are so bro, Lord of Jesus. Look at my face. I'm okay. You are not okay. Lord of Jesus. I'm you are, okay. I'm you are, okay. you are not okay. You are covered by the blood of Jesus. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Amen. Be fast with this thing, please. I know. Say, I know. I know. No, I'm so no weapon formed against you. Brother, I'm so you shall prosper. Amen. Every See, tongue. Look at my face. There's nothing wrong there. with me. I'm okay. Leave me alone. Look at me. Oh, okay. this no, thing very well, please. Look at my face. Understand my plight here. Eh? Oh, my God. Look at me. I'm okay. You are not. I'm okay. You are not. Hey. Hey, hey brother Samson. Go and call pastor, please. For what? Please. Eh? For what? Eh? Bro Samson, look at my face. That's what you know with me. I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. Everything that the Lord told me to do. Bro, you are not. This is my house. You are not. You are not okay. I hate you. You are not okay at all. I'm okay. You are not. I'm okay. You are not. You are not okay at all. You are not okay. I'm okay. The blood of Jesus. My name is Billy Alebe. I know. The blood of Jesus. Everything the Lord told me to do, that I will do. Alpha, were you able to get across to me? Yes, but I will obey. Problem. Pastor said we should take Brogule to his uh, parent at Alabafe. Alabafe. Hey, let us go if that is how he wants it. Do you think that is okay? I don't see anything bad in it. Maybe he wants his parent to know his present state. <laughs> it is someone who wants to receive a maternal course that will take Brogule to his parent in his present condition. Let's put ourselves in his shoes, oh. That is true. But. What will you do next? Listen, sir. It was two brothers that brought him here and they said he needs the devils. Jesus Christ, I want you to take absolute control. Let your spirit fill this house and let your blood fill this environment in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I have a vineyard in a very fruitful hill. I faced it and gathered out the stone. I planted in it the choicest vine. I built in the midst of heat a large tower, and I also placed a wine press in it. I looked at it that it should give me the choicest vine. But it was wide grip. Those words are from the book of Isaiah chapter 5. Yes, I just quoted from the book of Isaiah chapter 5. Young man, please could you please explain yourself further and who is that your lover that gave you wide grip? Uh, sir, uh I'm happy he's excused now. I want to. All right. Please don't come late tomorrow. All right, sir. Good night. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm all ears. Moyoshuri Johnson came from overseas, as she told us. We attend the same church. One day, the pastor sent for me. Ah, brother Billy Alegbe, congratulations, congratulations. Ah. <laughs> ah. You see, my brother, God answers prayers in a mysterious ways. And in fact, the way he has chosen to answer your own prayers, it's 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 amazing to me. It's amazing. Do you know that sister that just joined this commission? Which sister is that? Sister Muyo Johnson. Yes. Uh, yes, I know her. 
Ah, very good, very good. Honestly, I did not know that Sister Muyo does not have anybody she's courting. She's not in relationship with any brother. You know, and I was wondering about the matter. So I decided to pray about it. I prayed fervently. It was then that the Spirit of the Lord revealed to me that you, Brother Gbile, and Sister Muyo are something to do together. I did not understand it. So I invited her to my office. And when I interviewed her, I discovered that she does not have anybody she's engaged to. And in fact, that is the reason why she traveled all the way from the U.S. to Nigeria. Brother Gwile, the Lord has answered your prayer. What you have been looking for all around is just by your doorstep. It will be my pleasure, my dear brother, for you to get married to Sister Muyo. Thank you, sir. I will also go and pray about it too. To ask God for confirmation. Ah, ah, brother Gwili, there is no need to pray about it. I have prayed for you. The Bible says, believe the prophet and thou shalt prosper. You see, it is written that the one that walks on the temple must surely eat from the temple. Brother Gwili, you have labored fervently in this church. And I believe the time has come for you to reap the rewards of your labor. The Lord has answered your prayer. All you need to do now is just to begin to pray prayers of thanksgiving and tell the Lord to bless your marriage and bless two of you with wonderful children. Ah, Brother Gwile, in fact, let us pray. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. I did pray, but I saw nothing about whether I should go on with the wedding or not. So, I agreed to marry Sister Moyo. And uh, what happened? During our courtship, I discovered that my spiritual life started going down. I began to lust after Sister Moyo. All our plans was that I should sleep with her before our wedding day. When I discovered this, each time I will go to visit her, I will fast and pray. And when I get to her place, we do hold prayer meetings and Bible study. This was what we did until we chose our wedding date. Uh, and when all these things happened, why can't you tell your pastor? Sir, please, help me lose this rope. Oh, I am so sorry. Please pardon me, okay? Pastor, I told him, but he scolded me, he rebuked me, he said I should be a man, he said I should not behave like a baby, so he invited me to his office to choose the proper wedding date. Have you done a proper introduction before then? I was told that Sister Muyo's parents had died long ago and that her elder sister lives in America. Okay, go on, go on. Hmm. As we chose the wedding date, Sister Muyo started to exhibit different characters. All her plans, all she wanted is that I sleep with her before our wedding. One day, she took me out in her car. We alighted 
in the front of one hotel. She insisted that I go in with her. I refused it. I told her it would be wrong for people to see us in an hotel before our wedding. Then it led to an argument. I calmed her down with everything possible. She refused. Then I calmed her down with the scriptures. She refused bluntly. She said my own is too much that I take Christianity to my head. It was what happened recently that made me to understand that there is death in the pot. What is the problem? Your countenance is not appealing. What's the matter? Well, if there's anything that I've done to offend you, I beg you, please forgive me. Huh? Is that what you have to say? Huh. I hope I've not made a mistake. Mistake? How do you, how do you mean mistake? What is today's date? Today's date? What, what is this? Oh my god. So, you've forgotten my birthday. Ah, 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 ah. Your birthday, yes. I forgot. Is this the yes. husband I want to spend the rest of my life with? That cannot even remember my... It escaped my mind. Please don't take it personal. Please, just don't take it personal. It escaped my mind, please. It's your birthday today. I'm so sorry. Don't take it personal. Eh? Sister, well, don't take it personal. Don't take it personal. It has not gotten to that. Don't, don't take it personal. Sister, don't take this thing personal. I'm very sorry. Don't take it personal now. You're only trying to take this thing personal. You know, I forgot. And I'm very sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Since some of you sorry, John said. That means you don't have me in mind. Ah! This is so unfair. I have you in mind. I have you in mind. You are in my mind. You are there every time. I am very sorry. I promise. I promise that time uh, it will not happen again. I mean it. It won't happen again. <laughs> Happy birthday. Uh. Sister Moyo, what's happening here? What are you doing there? What are you trying to do? Hey, what Mio. is it? What is it? Am I not pretty enough as a woman? Hmm. Huh? Let me tell you something. Today is my birthday and you're going to live with me. Hmm? You have no choice. <laughs> Sister Moyo, let's do that. That one is not good. The Bible says, the Bible says that marriage is honorable before all men. With the bed, the bed undefined. Sister Moyo, ah, let us not do this. I know you are stubborn. Billy Alekbe, you are going to sleep with me today. <laughs> Sister Moyo, so in Johnson. You have a very nice name. Your pronunciation is very nice. Oh, stop it! I rebuke that foul spirit operating in your life in Jesus' name.
that was what prompted me to fast and pray. When I discovered that Sister Moyo is a snake. I tried to explain to the pastor, but he would not listen. I explained to my parents, but they refused bluntly. My friends did not believe me. Sister Moyo also told a brilliant lie against me. And that was why I gathered everything she bought for me and burnt them. This was what my friends saw and they thought I had gone insane. Was it the pastor that ordered them to bring you here? No, sir. The pastor ordered my friends to take me to Alabafi, where my parents are based in the village. But my friends thought it wise in their whole wisdom not to take me to the village with my present condition. So they decided to bring me here. That's too serious. Oh, but well, the Bible says in all things we should give thanks. And uh, God saved you. If you had slept with that lady, it won't have been easy for you to escape from her snare. And that is why we normally tell all those youths that it's not good to have premarital sex. It is very, very dangerous. Sir, I need your assistance. The wedding is to hold in two weeks. And the pastor has decided that I must marry Sister Moyo by force. And, sir, I, I can't marry Sister Moyo because there is death in the pot. My brother, don't worry. Huh? Don't worry at all. And the law in this nation, it is not possible for somebody to forcefully join a couple together. And Bible also is against it. So put your mind at rest, okay? 